be a really good idea to kind of show you guys how I planned our wedding and I planned it well me and my husband planned our wedding all while I was going to school and he was working two different states and we stayed under five thousand um, dollars so today's video is going to be titled how to plan a wedding under five thousand dollars now just to kind of get right into this video, we got married on May 7th, 2017, and I graduated from college on May 5th, 2017. So that should tell you right there um, how unique and crazy the whole event was. I just want to say, if you are planning a wedding, don't think that because you see people on TV spending tens and thousands and fifty thousand dollars that that's how a wedding is supposed to be. Nobody said you had to re have a rehearsal dinner. Nobody said you had to had a reverse a rehearsal wedding. Nobody said that you had to shoot even wear shoes to a wedding. You know, like nobody said you had to get like these huge halls and have this. Just because you see it on TV doesn't mean that you have to go with all this hoopla of what they say a wedding should be. So what was more important? What you spent on a wedding or, you know, the marriage? We planned our wedding while I was in school my last semester at the University of South Florida. While he was living here in Long Island working at his job because he had got a new job in between uh, my semesters and so I couldn't just bust up and leave with him I had to kind of like stay there and try to finish my degree because you know a girl got to finish her degree That was most important. You know, I'm already living in Florida There's beaches everywhere You know, you got to come down here anyway When it's time for school to be out and I have to drive all my stuff back up to New York Because I didn't want to drive back up there by myself So I said let's go ahead and plan a wedding so I'm gonna give you a quick overview of how we basically planned this wedding so the plan was to basically try to find everything we could do in this wedding to be a one-stop shop and when you live in Florida that is about the easiest thing you can do that's exactly what we did and how that's how we basically were able to spend under five thousand dollars now under five thousand dollars went for the wedding the 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 reception and the honeymoon and even the clothes in a hotel so for five thousand dollars it's pretty good wedding and we had an awesome good time first the wedding was all inclusive the ceremony uh, we got free photos that came with our package we had the seating and we had the time the average wedding only takes about 25 to 30 minutes so it wasn't like it took all day our full ceremony with the color we choose our own color and set up um, along with um, the you know the person that marries us, saying our own vows, separate little ceremonies, it and the chairs and everything set up. We ain't to worry about getting permanents for the beach or none of that. We spent um, eleven hundred dollars on the full wedding ceremony that was held on the beach. Um, we had about forty friends and family. That's including the bridesmaids and the um made what was what's the man's call and the groomsman that's including the groomsman they actually set up like a father ceremony and you'll see that in the video where they actually had like the father come up and like give me away to my husband and then they had the ceremony where we thanked our mothers basically thanked our mothers for having each of us so that we can even know and meet each other and get married and we had a special ceremony that we held for the mothers also because it was around mother's day too may i mind you if you watch my engagement video which i'll put the link right up in here our engagement or up here somewhere at the top i'll put the engagement video but if you see the engagement video we actually got engaged on um, mother's day weekend at a mother's day brunch oh on mother's day um in florida back in 2013 so this was just us finally completing it so that was the wedding we spent about eleven hundred dollars on that all inconclusive it was beautiful on the beach right, we actually threw our reception 
at one of our favorite restaurants that we used to eat in a whole lot when we first, first moved to Florida, and that was BJ's Brew House. Now, a lot of people might know what that is, but BJ's Brew House is a really nice uh, place on the inside. The ambiance is really nice. And they basically section off a whole half of the restaurant for us to have our reception in. That total bill came up to about $1,400. And that included however long we wanted to be in there. We was in there from about 7 to, what, 9? Or whenever everybody left, we was in there from about 7 to 9. We had so much food, y'all. Like, we was telling people, eat more food, because we had so much food. Now, I can say the only thing we didn't do was we didn't have a cake. But that wasn't important, because Chris, my husband, doesn't eat cake. And I wasn't too fed up on the cake dessert thing. So it wasn't like a cake was a main part. Again, I feel like that's something extra that you see on TV. So everybody just think that you're supposed to have a cake. But... We didn't really care for a cake. Everybody was already full on the food. And we let people order unlimited, whatever else extra they wanted to order on the on the menu. And we still came out under budget. Like, nobody paid for anything when it came to food. And it was so funny to me because people really was asking me, like, do we have to pay for our own food? And I'm like, our wedding is cheap, but it ain't that cheap. <laughs> Okay, so that was a reception and a wedding. So far, that only cost us uh, one, two, twenty five hundred dollars. That was just for that. Now, my wedding dress only cost me about seven hundred dollars, and I got that on sale. And the regular price of that was about eleven hundred. So I got lucky on that. Not to mention, I had just won a scholarship. Um, man, mind you, I'm supposed to be graduating in May, and I was hoping that maybe my mother would pay for my dress or something like that, but a blessing came out of nowhere. I didn't even know I was going to get it, but I ended up getting a scholarship for being the first person in my family to graduate from college. And I was, that big money basically helped me pay for my dress and helped me pay for the rest of the stuff I needed to pay for for the rest of the semester. Because it's already like in the middle of March or middle of like in the, yeah, about middle of uh, March. By the time I even got there, and I didn't even know. I'm like, I'm about to graduate. Y'all just not giving me the scholarship when I graduate? Well, of course, that's because that's the only reason why I got it, because it's about to graduate. So it was real help for me. It's basically, to me, like my graduation gift. So my dress was only 700 We were on the beach. I didn't need any type of shoes. Um, my friends came down, and my friends do everything. So I had my friend do my makeup. Um, I found my hair online. Um, of course, you'll see the hair in the picture, but I found my hair online at AliExpress, and I got, like, a frontal and, like, four bundles. I found somebody, again, on Instagram to do my hair, and it was only $125, and I'll put her information in the bottom of this video also. i am basically going to link you to everything that I use at the bottom and all the places that I use for my wedding at the bottom. Basically, in a nutshell, my husband paid for our whole wedding. In a sense, that's how basically how I paid it. He was working hard, signing up for all the overtimes, and we paid for our whole wedding weekend, graduation weekend, everything from him. So it was really, really a blessing. We even went on our honeymoon and our cruise. We actually cruised to the Bahamas, and it only cost us um, nine hundred dollars. For both of us, it was uh, like five, four days, five days or something like that. Five days and four nights. So again, we were already in Florida. So we just drove over to Fort Lauderdale, um, got on the boat. Was it Fort Lauderdale? It was Orlando. What was it? Oh, Cape, Canaveral. Cape Canaveral. We just drove over to Cape Canaveral, um, paid to park. Because at this time, you guys, I got everything from my dorm sitting in my car. We paid maybe... Under $300 for four nights at the hotel, where we also had a hotel block. That was already paid for. So we didn't have to worry about paying for the hotel. My sister and my friend paid for my party bus for my bachelorette party. Um, my husband, his friends paid for him to have their bachelor party. Um, and then I had a second uh, bachelorette party 
at my radio station on campus where I basically had everybody come in there. And I try to find some shots of that and throw that in there so y'all can see that. It was on point. We had so much fun. I made my own bouquets out of the seashells. I made um, the little ring holder that my little brother held. I made that out the seashell with a hot glue gun and glued some fake rings on there so he could carry that. The seashell basket the the flower girl holds, that has seashells in it, so she threw seashells. Like, I literally really made it my own without having to spend a lot of money. And even on a cruise, we budgeted ourselves on a cruise to spend $100 a day. And that was able to have fun, like, every day. Buy drinks, hang out, go to the pool. We got off the boat, on the boat. It was great. We had the free food when we got off the boat. From the boat, people, they brought the food over. So we had a really, really good time and did not... I mean, we still went home with more money. Even after we got off the boat, we still had to drive 17 hours from Florida all the way to Long Island. Um, pay, you know, pay those tolls, 17-hour road trip after being on a boat for five days and still end up having a lot of fun like a lot a lot a lot of fun go ahead and check out this slideshow and then tell me what you think in the comments and let me know <music> slideshow I mean if I put everything in there we will be here all day trying to look at a slideshow of my wedding and those pictures most of those pictures was pictures taken by friends and family um, we use a few of those wedding apps and we got about 95 pictures free from the photographer because we also had a photographer too that was included in the package so the best way to have a wedding for under $5,000 is trying to find Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'm out.